So we got those eyelets punched in. Okay, do an eight. The next step, now that we have that all lined up, is going to be making the vanity panel. Not going to be an easy task, but one that I think we can deal with. So we got the fabric all ready to go. And I made sure there's more than enough. Absolutely plenty. Tons of room. So we're going to have to measure how tall it has to be from top to bottom. Top to bottom. And then cut it to fit. And we want it to be the right length so it won't stick out over this corner here when it goes across. So I will measure that out. And yeah. I'll take you along the line once I, along the ride once I got the measurements. Okay. Show you when we're ready. All right. We'll get you set up here. I've got to measure this. The width is going to be 12, which it already is. The length, top to bottom, the height, if you will, is going to be four. Uh, it's going to be finished 14. So we're going to measure it at 15 to allow for the half inch for the seam allowance. And I'll just cut that. Then we'll serge it. Then we'll stitch it. So these both being the same cut makes it easier. I only have to cut it once. Got the bottom, top to top. Lined up, corners are all even. There we go, that's a straight edge. Line 15 here, that's the one we go by. That's cut. I'll go search these, and I'll bring you over to the other machine to show you the stitching. All right, back to the sewing machine. This is going to be a quick and easy one, although I will switch the foot. Right, back to my standard half inch foot instead of the quilting foot. And hopefully the bobbin doesn't run out during this process. We're going to do is make this into a pocket. And turn it inside out and uh, top stitch it. Relatively easy process. Nice and simple. So all the complicated stuff is out of the way. It's a lot easier to do this sort of stuff. straight seams, nothing overly complicated, nothing overly twisty or turny or curvy or have a very high tolerance. Or a very accurate tolerance. It's just three straight lines.
Now, <sighs> yeah, you can see me. Now, these corners are going to have to be folded in on themselves to make top stitch. So we are going to do our standard cut the corners away to help with the fold. Turn it inside out. Take a rod. They'll push the corners up. They can all sit as flat as possible. You've seen me do this type of stuff before, but right now I'm in the mood to just work, so I'll show you as much as I can. Here we are, there's our bag. Once again, any little mistakes in that can be fixed after the fact. I am going to do a single surge across this after we top stitch it. So this is all sewn shut. Then we're going to stitch it into the corset. So that's good. Back over here. <clears throat> Again, keeping this seam as far out as possible. Make everything look nicer. Next little bit out. Again, same thing on this one, I'll go all the way around. This seam as close to the edge as possible. You can tell probably by the shortness of my statements here that not necessarily in a good mood. It's been a bit of a rough day. Some people have noted that it uh, might not be a good thing that I get productive when I'm irritated. I think that's a great thing. I think it's a great use of the excess energy. Rather than being angry or yelling and screaming, I just sit down and work. And that gets shit done. But my bobbin just ran out. So I'll fill that up again. And, uh, well, you've seen a corner. All that's left is another corner. So once that's done, I'll show you on the serger. There's an upside and a downside to only having one stool. The upside is there's less for me to worry about. The downside is i got to run it back and forth every time I switch machines. <clears throat> so... In the view, there you are. Start her up. And we'll let her rip.
All right, nice and simple. It's all stitched together. It's all stitched closed. Now we're going to bring it back to the other machine and stitch it on to the corset.